<clears throat> All right. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I'd like to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Yahweh being the one true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world so ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the one true name of his only begotten Son, who the world so ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashim means in the name and the Rakakodash being the Holy Spirit. All right. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who do real well, as well as peace, blessings, and many salutations to the sincere brothers pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth that are given all diligence to ensure their calling of election. All right. Real quick, man, what I wanted to go into um, was how, you know, we should definitely be preparing and, and what part of pre preparation, okay, you know, is is conquering this flesh, man, okay? You know, it's not to say that we don't have shortcomings, okay? Absolutely. But we should be striving, like the scripture talks about, for the mastery of these things, man. Just as Yahweh Shai strove for the mastery of conquering the flesh, and he did, man. He overcame, okay? And through overcoming, we have... A, a, a broad field open unto us, man, okay, being the kingdom of heaven, okay, starting with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, all right, but it's important that we utilize these things in all aspects, and what I wanted to go into specifically was how we have to have control over our emotions, rule over our spirit, okay, we have to be able to know and tell ourselves when to shut up, all right, when to speak, what not to say, what to say, what, if anything is necessary to be said at all, you know, it's, it's, you have to be able to weigh circumstances out and outcomes that may come of said circumstances and your reaction to those things and, and, and just move wisely, man. Okay. Move wisely. And we're all, you know, especially before the truth, you know, have gone into little, you know, um, rages and, and, you know, have experienced different things where you go into a full rage of being mad and just furious. And afterwards, when you calm down, you look back like, damn, you look, I look so stupid or damn, like, you know, I, 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 I didn't that like, that wasn't necessary at the end of the day, man. Okay. But because of your emotions taking over, Okay, a demon ultimately taking over, you lost control. It's like a drunk driver, man, okay? And I'm not talking about drunk like, okay, I, I could drive. I, I could still drive. No, I'm talking about drunk like wasted, like like plastered, right? You don't want that individual behind the wheel, man, okay? You want to be behind the wheel, okay? But that drunk driver is like a demon, which will have you swerving in all different lanes, which will have you running red lights and stop signs, which will have you uh, in an in a unlikely chance to get home, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, or, or you might get into an accident, okay? But this is just a metaphor ultimately, but it goes into the fact of how we have to be in control, man. Ultimately, we know Yahweh Bashim Shai is in full control and full dominion. Everything's already been laid out. But these things, as, as we've grown in this thing, man, you know, speaking for myself, first and foremost, more and more things are being made manifest unto us, man. You know, realizations and such, you know, these things are being made manifest unto us to where it's like, okay, now we have another task or another responsibility, right? To whom much is given is much required, right? We have a further step that we have to take. We have to take on more we have more responsibility we have to fully start to embody that election man that's what it boils down to you know as we grow and as the times continue to go on and things begin to wax worse and worse out here okay now i want to start with the precept because i know i've just been kind of rambling on but lord willing this is make making sense you know lord willing it's edifying all right and exhorting but this is the book of proverbs chapter 25 and verse 28 by the way this is the only precept that I have, but if anything else comes to me, I'll definitely bring it out. Um, but it says, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city 
that is broken down and without walls, right? So like I said, when you don't have full control, when you don't have rule over your spirit, like it says, okay, you're like a city without walls, okay? Just at any moment, <laughs> something happens and you're all of a sudden being taken over by, by another man's army, you know, so to speak, by, by demons ultimately. Because when you, like I, made the, like, like I made mention of, when you allow yourself to lose control, something else is taking over, man, and that's a demon, you know? That's ultimately a demon. Rage, okay? F like fury, you know? That's why the scripture says what? All right, let me see if I can grab it real quick. Um, if I can find it. I know it's <clears throat> somewhere back here. Lord willing, I just actually turned to it. Um, is it James? Yeah, it is James, actually, man. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. This is James chapter 1 and verse 19. All right, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be salakia. I'm going to start over. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, right? We, it's that saying that you have two ears and one mouth, right? But like it says, slow to wrath. That's ultimately what I wanted to get. Slow to wrath. Slow to rage, man. You shouldn't be be getting in a state where you're, you know, putting yourself in a certain predicament or a certain position that might have an outcome that you don't want to be in at the end of the day. Like, in, in, its, in, in, in its trueness, you don't want to be in that position. But at the moment, you don't realize because, what, you've lost control. You have you you weren't ruling your spirit correctly. We can't see Yahweh Shai was that a great example of that, man. Okay? Not letting outer circumstances fully, you know, affect him and how he maneuvered. Okay. He was very heavy. He was very, you know, he was filled with zeal at times. Okay. And so are we. Alright. But, you know, zeal is different from you know, getting getting in that carnal state, that fleshly state of wanting to put your hands on somebody or wanting to, you know what I mean? So it's a difference between that. But Yahweh, like I said, Yahweh Shai was a great example that, of course, the greatest example that we should follow the author and finisher of our faith, okay? You know, we, we have to put on as that election and what that election ultimately embodies is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai. At the end of the day, Genesis to Revelation. For lo, I am, I am written in the volume of the book. Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> okay? But you also have the prophets like uh, Daniel, man. Okay, Daniel. You know, in the lion's den. You know? He believed his prayers was being answered, man. Was, or were going to be answered. He, he, he worried not, man. He fretted not. He, he wasn't discouraged. Okay? I'm not saying that if you feel those things that you're wicked okay or that you know ultimately it's a growing thing man speaking as a younger brother myself you know it's 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 a thing that you become over time man it's it's something that you become and and you know put on over time it's not something you immediately step step into when you find out you're an israelite no man just like the truth the 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 learning process of the truth is is um you know it's it's a journey man it's not just a, a quick little you know you 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 hop in and you know it all like all of a sudden no it's it takes time it takes studying it takes patience it takes diligence it takes work man it takes labor okay but just like just like you know not letting yourself lose control that takes work as well man but that goes back to what examining yourself man okay Let's see if we can grab that real quick if it is where i believe it is um so like no nah, that's not what i was looking for um You know, I mean, ultimately, the scripture talks about, you know, examining yourselves, man. Examining yourselves. That you have to examine yourself on a daily basis, man. Look at your faults. You know your weaknesses better than anybody else on this planet, man. 
okay? And, and importantly, man, more important than, than anything, okay? Faith and prayer, man. They don't get, you know, it's really that simple, okay? This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, all right? Letting you know, you know, as we always go into and as it's evident, <laughs> this is to and for the Israelites, man. Okay, the 12 tribes scattered abroad. They lost their heritage and nationality. Those are the Israelites. Those are what's referred to as the Gentiles or call themselves Greeks, you know, or Romans or Americans, you know, for example. But verse two, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, so if you lack, you know, your weaknesses, right? Where you're weak at. Hey, man, you got to pray unto Yahweh by Shem Yashai that he makes those your strengths. All right? That he adds more blessings unto you, that he gives you more wisdom and more knowledge and more understanding. These are things you should be praying for daily, man, multiple times a day. And, and, and thanking him, man. Not just asking, but but showing your gratitude, man. Truly, like sincerely, being thankful unto him, man. Because these things are gifts from the Almighty, man. Okay, it says, verse five: If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High Yahweh, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, wavering, for he that wavereth, Salakia. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. All right. So a man, and it, like it says, verse seven, for let that, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now that's, you know. If you ask for something, you got to believe it's going to come to you eventually, man. Faith, right? Without faith, it is impossible to please him, okay? So if, if, you, if you're lacking, you should be asking of Yahweh Bashim Yashai to give you a calm spirit, to let you have rule over your spirit, to, you know, um, protect you and guide you, man, for his counsel, right? And also of the brothers, man, you know? I always tell brothers this, well, maybe not always, but I, you know, when the spirit be on me, I reach out to brothers, hey, you good? You need anything? If brothers ever need anything, feel free to reach out, man. That's what we're here for, okay? I'm a servant, man, okay? I'm a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh first and foremost, but unto you as well, man, for Yahweh Shai Mashiach's sake, for the gospel's sake, okay? Like like uh, Paul said, man, and uh, what's it, 1 Corinthians 9, maybe, you know? Maybe, maybe 16, okay? It's either 16 and 9 or 9 and 16. Hey, he said, though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, you know? That's why we always give all glory, praise, honor to you. How about Shimei Osai? He said, what? Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. You know, these things are required unto us, of us, right? Unto whomsoever much is given is much required, man. All right? But, you know, let's just jump back to the first precept. Cause that that pretty much covers it all, man. You know that one precept, Proverbs chapter twenty-five and verse twenty-eight. It says, "He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls." So you have to be able to, you know, rule and 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 properly, you know, order things right, man. Okay. To the best of our ability at the end of the day, you know, it's all Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's will, okay, what he has in store, okay, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you want to, what I wanted to go into is how we have to control our emotions, okay, because right now we're in that building, we're in the time frame to be building and growing, you know, that way in the times to come, we can be sustained, all right, you know, we, we, we have that calm spirit. We don't be easily persuaded to, to lean one way or the other. We have rule over our spirit. 
when your neighbors getting their shit kicked in by by the uh, or you getting your shit kicked in, man. You know, not to completely panic and you know, cause it's not supposed to be like that, man. The yeah, was shy. Hey, man, he he was taken up. He knew what it, he knew what time it was. Not to say you won't be nervous or you won't be having certain thoughts in your head, but you have to stand firm, man. We have to bring our bodies into that subjection state, man. And 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 with all all in mind, yeah, how about Shimei Shai, man? Focusing on the end goal, man. You know, like I made mention of in one of my recent videos, you know. I believe it's entitled, uh, There's No Maybe or Ain't No Maybe in Faith. That's right, man. Ain't no maybe in faith. So no matter what circumstances you're in, okay, how about Shimei Shai should be at the forefront of your thoughts, man. You have to have rule over your spirit and you can't let your emotions take take charge, right? But, you know, nevertheless, man, I just wanted to bring that out. Lord willing, it was edifying and exhorting, man. All right. Um, I want to end it off by giving all praises, all honor, and all infinite glory. Again, unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who do it well, as well as peace, blessings, and many salutations to the sincere Akim pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth that are given all diligence to ensure their calling of election. Until next time. Shalom.